When you get out into the wilderness where I go, it's not like a campground. It's not like going to Yosemite. Some of the places that I go up in northern Nevada, they're some of the most remote places in the lower 48. It's dirt roads and nothing else. Nothing else. It is vast wilderness. There's not another town for 60 miles in any direction. You'll be out there for days at a time and you won't see another human being. You just won't. And so when you strip everything away, it's very humbling being out there. Being out there when it's cold. Being out there when it's hot, when it's 105 degrees in the Vegas heat. So there are a couple of things that you absolutely must have. You've gotta have water, you've gotta have food. Parallel with trial is, is there are certain things that you have to have. You have to have taken certain depositions. You have to have gotten testimony from corporate representatives. You have to have done the discovery to obtain the documents that show wrongful conduct. Good trial lawyers don't just show up and with their charisma or their personality or their good looks and just win a case. That's not how it works. A lot of times in, in our daily lives now, you can run from one thing to another to another because it's always constant distraction. When I'm out in the wilderness for days and days on end, it's just me. And I think that that's helped me, that's helped shape me be a better person, a better advocate for my client. I've been able to listen to them and hear their story, empathize more, and having that time dedicated is what I believe helps the clients uh, prevail. One of the most therapeutic things about the drive is when I get out of the city and you're finally into the desert. There's no population out there, there's no towns out there. All of that stress, all of that anxiety, all of that worry, all of that just melts away. And it's from that point forward that it's just, it's me and, and my thoughts and being able to process things. What drew me to the wilderness the first time was just the sense of isolation, just being able to be alone with my thoughts, to really think things through and not have certain distractions. When I have certain issues with cases, I'm taking those issues with me in my mind and I'm figuring out how to resolve those, those issues. So there is clarity because you have the time to sit there and evaluate and analyze that particular client's case from every single angle possible. You're out there in the middle of nowhere with nobody around, no cell phone service, no TV, no radio. It's just you and nature. First few times it is nerve wracking. You're out in the middle of nowhere and there's nobody around. Every little noise that you hear, you're looking around like, is it a wild animal? Uh, there's, there's mountain lions, there's coyotes, bear. So you hear those things and your mind starts to kind of play tricks on you. And one time I was lost. And being lost in the wilderness is a feeling that most people have never had. You don't know which direction to go. Having those experiences, you, you, you kind of have to figure out how to handle adversity. All trial lawyers that are worth their salt have to have courage in the face of adversity. Because when you're filing a lawsuit that is very serious, that has implication for the person for the rest of their entire life with significant injuries or death, they're gonna throw everything at you. You have to be fierce, you have to be persistent, and you have to continue to push forward and push forward and push forward. What matters is do you care? And are you willing to outwork the other side? Ben is one of the top trial attorneys in the United States, period. And you will not find a more dedicated attorney and team than Ben Cloward's team here at Cloward Trial Lawyers. We always give a full effort and we've never looked back at a case and gone, I wish we could have done more. That's not something our team does. We give every client 100% hyper-focus and effort 
and hard work to their case because they deserve that. You know, how do you shake their hand and say, hey, we're gonna, we're, we, feel, we feel for what happens to your family and then go skip a step, right? The only way you could honestly shake their hand and tell them you're gonna represent their family is if you put in the work and fight those fights. My favorite animal is an African honey badger. The reason that's my very favorite animal is because it weighs about 40 pounds, but it fights African lions. And it not only one or two lions, it'll fight three or four. They get bit by a cobra, they fall asleep, they wake up and they eat the cobra. I'm not gonna quit until I get what I want for that client. I am their lawyer. I am being counted upon to bring their case forward to make sure that they have a recovery. And without me, there's nobody. There.